We would like to thank you for inviting us to participate in the project. We welcome these opportunities that enable us to shape ideas and knowledge and to make them known to the world. We are from the Gutenberg Schule, located in the middle of the world in Quito, Ecuador, South America. With our project, we wish to deal with two problems that the world is facing at present, which if they are not tackled now, may deplete or end resources for future generations. The first problem is the rational use of water. We know that the supply and treatment of water is expensive. To this end, we intend to collect and reserve rainwater, with which we will save at least 75% of the water normally used for drinking. Using biodegradable soaps manufactured by us, the water used in the wash basins goes through a filtering process for use in the watering of the green areas of the school, including the vegetable garden, where we grow the majority of plants needed for the manufacture of the soaps. The second problem concerns the generation of waste. We believe that the best path to approach this problem is to address it where the waste is generated. In particular, with the passing of time, organic waste decomposes, generating bad odour, disease, and it becomes a source of minor illness. We intend to crush the waste and with a system of environmentally friendly solar panels, dehydrate the waste. The liquid obtained from this process combined with the recycled water will allow us to create an irrigating system with rich nutritional ingredients the dehydrated material will be used as compost in the green areas without the problems of contamination caused by the usual transport and handling of waste. This scheme, due to its functionality, can be shared with other institutions, families and communities and it will be shared through a website and be presented via different platforms in order for it to be applied thus increasing the reduction and handling of waste, turning into an opportunity what at present is a problem. The initiatives outlined in this project are the result of the participation by students and staff, some of which are already being carried out. In the long term, it will further develop and continue to be implemented as we incorporate professional and economic support. Once again, we thank you for this opportunity and hope that you continue your work in supporting initiatives such as this, which are for the benefit of all.